Hello, we'll have another lesson for Mathematics 6 and this time this is still for quarter 1, week 3 and still on fractions but this time we will be talking about division. Okay, alright, division. Let's go ahead. Okay, bago natin pag-uusapan yung division of fractions or dividing fractions, okay, pag-uusapan muna natin ang reciprocal. Ano ba ang reciprocal? A reciprocal is a multiplicative inverse of a number. When a number is multiplied by its reciprocal, the product is 1. So, anong mga example dito? Meron tayo. 2 thirds times 3 halves. Um, alam na natin na kung i-multiply natin yung fractions, multiply natin yung taas at multiply natin yung baba, di ba? So, ang sagot dito would be 6 over 6. Kaya lang, kung pareho ang numerator at saka denominator, this is just equal to 1. So, dahil the product is 1, ibig sabihin nito, itong dalawa na to are reciprocals. So, 2 third is the reciprocal of 3 halves and 3 halves is the reciprocal of 2 thirds. Yun lang yun, ha? And then, let's have 5. Ang reciprocal ng 5, okay, babalik na rin mo lang, is 1 fifth. Now, bakit 1 fifth? Kasi ang 5 in fraction is just 5 over 1. So, balik na rin lang, okay, reciprocal na yun, okay? Now, paano kung ito yung binigay? 3 and 1 half, okay. Reciprocal ng 3 and 1 half is just 2 seventh. Now, bakit? Dahil ang 3 and 1 half as an improper fraction is equal to 7 over 2. So, bumaligtad lang din. Okay? So, kahit pa yung mixed number ay meron din siyang reciprocal. Whole number, meron din siyang reciprocal. Okay? So, let's go ahead and uh, talk about dividing fractions. Yan, dividing fractions. Um, meron ako ditong problem, okay, para ma-explain kung paano ba ginawa yung division of fractions or dividing fractions. Okay, Marie has 2 kilograms of sugar. She wants to divide it into 1 fourth kilogram packs. How many packs of sugar will she have? Now, alam na natin na kapag nagre-repack tayo ng sugar, isang kilo, okay, gagawin natin tigwa 1 fourth, meron kang apat na pakete. Kung dalawang kilo ang irerepack mo, eh di walong, walong pakete yun, di ba? So, pwede natin sabihin na 2 divided by 1 fourth is just 8 kasi lalabas dyan, walo ang pakete na meron ka, di ba? Kaya lang, okay, tignan natin ha, um, write natin yung 2 as 2 over 1 kasi multiplication, division of fractions, dapat gagawin with fractions. Okay, so yung whole number, lagyan ng 1 sa baba. So, this is 2 over 1 divided by 1 fourth. Kaya lang, if you will observe 2 in 4, okay, walang division na nangyari. Kasi, i-compare mo siya sa 8, eh di makikita mo na. Ayan no, tinimes lang yung dalawa eh. Diba? Kasi, lalabas dapat ang 8. Okay? So, para lumabas ang 8, dapat, kagawin mo na ang kabaligtaran. Eh, mumultiply mo na ito, Tapos ito, baligta rin mo. So, yun yung explanation doon, ha? So, rewrite natin. This will be 2 over 1 and then times natin 4 over 1. Kasi nga, walang pwedeng, walang division na nangyari dito. Multiplication ang kalabasan para kung mumakuha mo yung 8. So, balig, baligta rin na lang natin. Baligta rin natin tong division, ginawang multiplication. And then yung 1 fourth, ginawang 4 over 1. So, ito... Okay, ginamit natin ang reciprocal nito and then nag-multiply na tayo. So, yun yung explanation doon. Bakit binago from division to multiplication na? Kasi hindi mo makukuha yung tamang sagot kung hindi mo baligta rin. Okay, so ang sagot dito ngayon is 8 over 1 or just 8. Yun yun ha. Pero, okay, para mas madaling maintindihan, Hmm, yan. Okay. Meron ako smiley dyan. Eh, cute, cute. Okay. Para mas malaling maintindihan, itandaan nyo na lang yung phrases na to. Okay? Ano yon? Leave me. Ayan. Para sa unang um, fraction or the dividend. Change me. Para sa operation. And then, flip me. Para sa divisor. So, itong tatlong phrases na to, tandaan mo lang, hindi ka na mawawala with division of fractions. So, 
Let's go ahead and Okay? Example 1 tayo. Perform the operation. You have 4 fifth divided by 2 fifth. Okay? Now, that would be equal to, mm, tandaan ulit, okay, yung tatlong phrases. So, you have there, leave me, change me, flip me. Ayan, o, oh, ba? Na-flip na natin, okay. So, uh, pwede na tayong mag-multiply. Kaya lang, nalalaman natin dati, okay, uh, last, uh, last week na in multiplication of uh, fraction, okay, gagawin mo ang, i-multiply mo yung taas at baba, di ba? Kaya lang, kung meron kang pwedeng i-cancel, cancel na muna tayo. Natutunan na natin yun eh. E di cancel natin, di ba? So, pwedeng i-cancel kasi itong dalawa, divide natin by 5. So, 1 na lang matira dyan sa dalawa. Itong dalawa rin, pwede natin i-cancel kasi pwedeng i-divide by 2. So, cancel tayo. 5 divided by 5, that would be 1. 5 divided by 5, that would be 1. And then, 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. Eh, di, nakuha na natin. So, in-apply din natin yung natutunan natin uh, with multiplication of fractions. Okay? So, 2 times 1 is 2. Tama, ba? And then, 1 times 1 is 1. So, ang sagot natin is just 2 over 1. And then, simplify. Yan yung sunod na uh, steps ng multiplication, ba? So, since um, 1 ang nasa baba, this is just equal to 2. Okay? Alright, next. Alright, example 2. Divide 8 tenths by 4 fifths. So, you have there 8 tenths divided by 4 fifths. Again, tandaan ulit. Okay. Leave me. Okay. Yun yung 8 tenths. You leave it as it is. Okay. Sulat mo siya as 8 tenths ulit. Change me. So, ito, change natin. And then, flip me. So, yung 4 fifths nagiging 5 fourths. So, pwede na tayong mag-cancel. Divided by 5 yan, you have 1. Divided by 5, you have 2. And then, yung 8 and 4, divide natin by 4, that's 1. Divide by 4, that is 2. Ang sagot natin ngayon is 2 times 1, tapos 2 times 1 din sa baba, ba? So, you have 2 over 2, or just 1. Okay? O, di, hindi ka na nag-lowest term kasi nag-cancellation tayo, ba? Okay, next. Example 3, divide 7 by 1 half. Now, meron tayo dito whole number na 7. So, ang whole number ay gagawing fraction, di ba? So, 7 dito would be changed to 7 over 1 and then divided by 1 half. And then again, ito na siya. Okay, change me. Oy, sorry, leave me pala. Leave me. Change me. Flip me. Ayan. So, pwede na tayong mag-multiply. O, kaya lang, check natin. Meron ba tayong pwedeng i-cancel? Wala. Kasi 1 ang nga nasa buba eh. Wala ka nang pwedeng i-divide sa 1 eh. ba? So, diretso na tayo. We have 7 times 2 is 14. And then, 1 times 1 is 1. So, sagot natin is 14 over 1 or just 14. Okay? Parang ano lang yan eh. Ayan o. Oh, 7 kilong asukal ulit. Tapos, uh, i-repack mo ng tigka kalahat eh. Edy, meron kang 14 na pakete. Eh. Parang pareho lang yan sa example ko kanina. ba? Okay, next. Alright, example 4. You have here, divide 2, six, two and 6 seven by 1 and 3 fourth. Now, ngayon, meron tayong mixed number. ba? So, Dapat, baguhin muna natin itong mixed number natin, itong dalawa, into uh, improper fractions. Kasi nga, hindi pwede mag-divide or multiply ng fractions kung may whole number. ba So, paano natin gawin? So, times ulit natin ang 7 by 2. So, 7 times 2 is 14. Idagdag ang 6. That would be 20. So, 20 over 7. Okay? For the first fraction, and then divided by, eto naman ngayon, baguhin natin. So, you have 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3, that would be 7, and the, ang, ang denominator is 4. So, 7 over 4. Ok? 
Okay, that would be equals to, again, ito na naman tayo. Okay, yung tandaan, you can use these phrases. Again, leave me, so yung 20 over 7, you leave it as it is. Change me, yung division, ginawang multiplication, and then flip me. Ayan, na-flip natin to, and you have 4, 7. So ngayon, pwede na tayong mag-cancel. Sana, ba? Kaya lang kung iti-check mo, wala ka pwedeng i-cancel. 20 ay po, hindi pwedeng i-divide by 7. Ang 4, ganun din. Kaya, kailangan na natin mag-multiply. So, 20 times 4 or 4 na 20 ay 80 lang. And 7 times 7 is 49. So, since this is a an improper fraction, baguhin natin yan, dapat gawin natin mixed number. So, Para magiging simple yan, mixed number yan. Okay? So, divide natin by 41, 49, merong isa. ba? And then, sobrang, sobra sa 80, after kinuha natin yung 49, ay 31. Kaya, yung numerator mo is 31, ang denominator mo is still 49. So, final answer is 1 and 31 over 49. Alright? Okay, example number, example number 5. Divide 4 and 1 half by 2 fifth. Again, meron tayong mixed number dito. So, change muna natin yan. So, 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. And then, denominator is 2, uh, 2 pa rin. So, you have 9 halves divided by 2 fifth. Again, dito na naman tayo sa 3 phrases. So, you have there... Leave me, change me, flip me. Okay, na-flip natin, di ba? Okay, ala. Ayan. So, pwede na rin tayong mag-cancel sana. Eh, wala ulit ma-cancel. Wala na naman. So, diretsyo na tayo. 9 times 5 is just 45. And then, four, uh, 2 times 2 is just 4. So, this is 45 over 4. And, i-divide natin with 4 para makuha natin ng mixed number. Kasi improper siya, eh, ba? So, 45 divided by 4, meron kang 11. Kasi, 10, 4, 4 ay 40. So, 11 na 4 ay 44. So, 11, meron kang 11. So, 44 yung 11 na 4, may sobrang isa. So, yung isa is your numerator at ang baba ay 4 pa rin. So, you have 11 and 1 fourth as your final answer. Okay? So, sana naintindihan ha. Okay. So, so quick review nga tayo. Quick review. Okay? How do we divide simple fractions? So, based dun sa mga ginagawa natin, okay, um, alam na natin kung anong gagawin kapag nag-divide tayo ng fraction. So, ano ba yun? Okay. Ito. Okay. Una, rewrite from division to multiplication. Klaro yun ha? This is done by multiplying the dividend by the reciprocal o yung kab kabaligtaran or multiplicative inverse of the divisor. And then, multiply the numerators and the denominators. Okay. And then, write the answer in lowest terms if possible. Ganun lang. Okay. How do we divide mixed numbers? Now, for mixed numbers, yan, convert muna tayo. So, convert each mixed number to an improper fraction. And then, we write from division to multiplication. So, ganun ulit. That is done by multiplying the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. And then, multiply the numerators and the denominators. And then, write the answer in lowest terms if possible. Ganun lang. Okay? So, let's have some exercises. Konti lang to. Five lang. Okay. Practice exercise. First, we have 3 eighths divided by 1 fourth. So, do this in a scratch paper. Okay? Tandaan uh, ang mga phrases na ito. Leave me, change me, flip me. Alright? Go. Okay. Sana nakuha ha. 
Okay. Para, okay, hindi maghahabol, post nyo lang. Post nyo na lang. Tapos, solve muna and then go ahead on, uh, and uh, play again the video. Okay? Let's have another um, example or number. So, 3 and 1 third divided by 5 thirds. Alright, sana natandaan na ka ito kailangan baguhin into improper fraction. Okay, another one. Alright, we have here 12 and 1 half. Okay, the answer is just 3. Okay, Kaya hindi ko tinanggal yan para naalala. Leave me, change me, flip me. Another one. Alright, this is 3 and 3, 7. 